Well, here we are walking around central London the day after the Queen's funeral, the day after Queen Elizabeth's funeral. And I have to say, there's still kind of quite a subdued atmosphere here, really. I mean, everything's open. I just had to go and see the doctor. I've got some errands to run and things like this. The atmosphere here is still quite subdued. It's still quite quiet. It's still quite sad. I came in last night. Um, I, was, uh, I was in Poland. I flew back. Um, because I've got some stuff to do here for a few days. And uh, I got a car back from the airport to home. And um, it was, the streets were really quiet. I mean, it was quite late anyway. The streets were really quiet. But the key thing that I noticed when I came in was just all of the, uh, all of the billboards, all of the hoardings with the old um, Queen Elizabeth, uh, the, the Queen's uh, sort of coat of arms or symbol and uh, the dates of her birth and death all over all of the the billboards all over all of the advertising um hoardings or the electronic ones anyway around london so and you can see now i mean it's still very quiet there's a sense of resignation i suppose you know get kind of getting on the, on with things but there's, there's still a sort of a solemnity in the air perhaps i think it's kind of hard maybe for people who aren't british who aren't from the uk I say British, I mean, if you've lived in the UK for a long time, then you'll get it. But for people who aren't British to really understand the sort of the, the significance, really, of the Queen's, of the Queen's passing. Um, you know, I'm not a huge royalist. I was never really that interested in the royal family for, for a lot of my life. I mean, I remember when Diana passed away and um, I'd been on a night out in Liverpool, actually, and I was <laughs> asleep on somebody's couch and I woke up the next day and I woke up and heard the news on the radio and I thought, well, that's pretty sad. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's go and get the drinks in. And, <laughs> and that was it, you know. Um, I think since then, it's, I, what you come to understand after years of sort of being alive, basically, and like living in a community, is that um, this stuff does have meaning. This stuff does have meaning for people. And, Queen Elizabeth has been on the throne for all of my life and she's been on the throne for pretty much all of my parents' lives as well, okay? This was a, she was a constant, you know, in a world that has changed massively since she first took to the throne. And she offered, there was a certain comfort in her being there, I think. She was a bit like everyone's mum or everyone's granny, you know? Um, and so the news that she had passed, which came, I was in Warsaw, um, doing some work over there the news that she had passed was obviously not a not a huge surprise I mean she was a uh, getting on in years she's 96 but um, in, in another way it kind of was a surprise as, as deaths always are because you sort of think on some weird level that that person's always going to be there particularly if they've been on banknotes all your life and stamps and you know they've just been a part of your life for, for since you were born basically so it is a strange time for the country and it looks like um it looks like king charles has stepped up to the plate and you know he's he's been making the right moves so far which is great you know and there's a sense of continuity with that really it's a, it's just a very it's just a very strange thing because then on another level you look at it and you think well okay but cost of living crisis um inequality inequality of wealth all of these kinds of things should these people even be in that position anyway should these unelected people be in that position anyway but you can hold that view and i think you can also hold the view, as many people do, that the Queen was nevertheless a, a, just a great human being and a great ambassador for the country. And as I say, almost like the sort of, the, the, the country's mother, if you like. And of course, when the Queen Mother was alive, she was the country's granny, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a very funny thing. And I've got friends who are not royalists at all, you know, who don't really have much interest. And even they've been talking about how this has affected them in some kind of emotional level. So yeah, man, I mean, it's just, uh, being in tune with the, um, I suppose it leads on to a, a bigger conversation about what it means to, to be a citizen of a country, what it means to be British, what it means to be American, what it means to be, you know, Polish or wherever, or Ukrainian or wherever you're from, you know, and I, I think in this world of um, digital nomadism, where basically, you know, we bang on all the time about how you don't have to be based in one place, you can travel, you can 
work on a laptop and experience life in all these different countries all of that's true but where you're from ultimately it still it still matters you know and the symbols the things that hold that that country together i mean a friend of mine said a while back you know what is it really the, the queen and the royal family the only thing really that holds <laughs> that holds britain together in a sense i mean it's the only thing that everybody kind of <sighs> I mean, even then, not everybody likes it, but it, it kind of, there's a sort of consensus over the royal family in a, in a way that there isn't over pretty much anything else, all right? So it is meaningful, it is sad. It's sad for the country. I don't think, um, and I was thinking as well yesterday, you know, that all, I watched the funeral, I was packing, I was leaving Warsaw, watched the funeral um, while I was doing that. And um, yeah, you know, it was great. I mean, great, really respectful, amazing tribute. It was quite moving actually. And um, wonderful pomp and ceremony and all of those kinds of things. But ultimately, really, with a funeral, none of that stuff really matters because all you want is for the person not to be gone. You know, all of the, 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 the trimmings and the, and the glorious tributes and everything else, none of it really matters in the face of the fact that that person has now been taken away and they're not coming back and you know that's the sad thing obviously about about death which is something that we all have to uh to face both the mortality of those around us and those that we care about but also the mortality of ourselves which again is something we always bang on about on the videos anyway just a little bit of reflection from london town hope you guys are keeping well see you again very soon bye bye